really excited for a lot of the acts. I enjoyed it last year, so I'm also happy it's going to be a two-day event, and I'm happy that the rain, it's like it knew my plans. I promise I didn't try for this, but it's working out for us, at least from what I see in the forecast. <laughs> so let's jump on over to the view from our Farley Boatworks camera in Port Aransas. We still have some raindrops on the lens, but things are settling down here. A nice view of the sunrise coming into play. 6.56 your time right now, and here's how it's looking on the radar. The heaviest rain still offshore, but the ride along 361 is getting soggy, especially for those who are more down toward the island. And uh, Mustang Island, Port Aransas is definitely seeing the rain in a smaller fashion to what's waiting offshore. This is an appetizer for what will come this afternoon, I think, as more people see rain. But right now, things are generally quiet across the coastal bend at large. So here's a look at current conditions around your neighborhood, again, in Port A, because we've got that rain visibility down to five miles of visibility. Everybody else is at perfect tens and dry. So some things that you'll notice foreshadowing today's soggy forecast is it's warmer out there, air you can wear with the mugginess, and there's a bit of a breeze to start the day. So that's the differentiator this morning from other mornings. But where are we going from here? Our dog walk forecast duo, Freddie and Dolly, they're saying, hey, can we go for that dog walk? Is it going to rain? We'll be okay for the first half of the day. Here's what I'm expecting over the next couple of hours. Temperatures are going to warm as they have the past couple of days to the middle 80s by lunchtime. More of a breeze, too. So the schedule of rainfall doesn't really come till the afternoon. And here's where I'm talking about those Friday night plans. I think we're okay. Inland locations, you'll have to watch the radar more carefully. But I think from about the ride home till maybe 10, 11 p.m., we'll be okay with some of that rainfall. Don't stay out too late, though, because it's going to be back in action as as we head on into your Saturday morning forecast. So aside from that, again, I think our plans are going to be OK because even on Saturday, we're not looking at those plans being too shabby. So seven day forecast for us here in Corpus Christi shows today and tomorrow is really it. Maybe a little soggy sleep in on Saturday because it, things will be drying up for the late afternoon, early evening. It's really just today and tomorrow. Beautiful weather after that. And there's a cold front that gets here overnight Monday into Tuesday. So while it isn't going to cool us down, mm -hmm. it will bring cooler mornings ahead. So something that I'm very excited for. And it's a pretty similar forecast for all the neighborhoods. I just hope some of that rainfall today happens right over Choke Canyon and Lake Corpus Christi. Yes. That, yeah. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Y'all made it. It is Friday. <laughs> We're looking forward to the weekend. We hope to see you out there at maybe one of the events. Have a great one if we don't, though. Happy weekend. Happy Friday.